Hey everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. Hope you had a very good day. Tomorrow is Thursday. Remember that we finished the classes on Monday. So this weekend, we need to finish all the classes. I hope you can move on with that one and have time to finish the exercises. For the weekend, we have to finish everything. Also remember that you will receive the survey from Insufwork. So that is something that we are going to um, do together this incoming Monday, right? In the class. Nice. So we are going to start uh, checking the platform. This is the class of tonight. And we need to finish the exercise 4.3. So you just need to check an option here and that will do it. Okay, let's check the attendance. Uh, let's see. All right, here we go. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Let's see. Daniel Antonio Luna. No. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino Garcia. Present. Good. Erika Yasmin Martinez Carpio. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Herman Alexander Durán Linares. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present teacher. Good. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Good. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Good. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Good. José Alberto Baños Hernández. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Good. Kenya Cecilia Ruiz Morán. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Nelson Antonio Erroda Rosales. Present. Good. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernández. Samantha Marisol Campos Plamen. Present. Good. Tulma Janet Ramírez Ávalos. Present. Good. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Good. David Alexander Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Very good, perfect. So let's start with the class, of course. We're gonna continue with the book. So we are going to continue with unit four, management and motivation. So it says, I will be able to provide suggestions to improve employee recognition programs. And the first question says, what are some of the most common ways to make employees merit 
known their co-workers? What do you think? What are some of the most common ways to make employees merge known to their co-workers? I think the first method is would be making a a meeting with the co-workers. Also, some company ha, have a sign of TV for information. So it could be make a, a, a presentation and you can pass it in the TV or or with uh, an email or, for example, in my company, we have a, a WhatsApp group. So it could be send a message with the information about the merit, merits of the employees. Okay. Yeah, actually those ideas are very, very good. So uh, it's uh, very common, yeah, what you say, sometimes there is a bulletin board where they put some news, uh, yeah, the TV on the on the wall with all the announcements, things like that one. Also, that is called digital signage or signage, digital digital signage. So, would you see all those things? Um, and the email, yeah, that is really cool. Right? So they send an email with, let's say, uh, daily news, things that they have to do, announcements. Everything like that. Very good. Very nice. The next question says, is it effective to recognize employees based merely on tenure? What, what is tenure? Do you know what is tenure? A tenure is the years of the worker, of the employee working in a company. So, for example, if you have been 10 years in a company, your tenure is 10 years. So, is it effective to recognize employees based merely on tenure? What do you think? So in other words, it's like, do you believe that companies should recognize employees only because of the years that they have been in a company? What do you think? For me, teacher, is it is important to to recognize this kind of merit, and it could be a uh, a little, little gift or something like that. Uh, for example, what same in my company mm -hmm. when you have um five years, the company give you a um like a gift card of Simano or to Mamona or the Super Selectus, I don't know. And if you have mm -hmm. ten, they they add some gift. And if you have 15 years, I think they get, give a, a TV, I think. And if you have more more years, they are they change the 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 gift. Oh, that is interesting. That is a very good thing. Uh yes, there are some companies that if you have been in the company itself for an amount of year, they give you some. Some gifts, uh, recognitions, you know, recognitions. I never, you know, I'm thinking right now, I never have met a person that gets retired from a company. I mean, I don't know. I was thinking about that one. But I don't know anybody that gets retired from a company. I know that there are people that get retired, but I don't know anybody. Do you know anybody 
my friends that get has gotten retired from a company I don't know that has been in a company I don't know five ten years and they get retired at well for men it's at sixty five in salary and for women it's at sixty. Do you know somebody like that? Maybe not right. I was thinking to myself that one that I don't know, maybe people die before get retired or anything. I don't know how it's going to be. But anyways, we are going to check the conversation that we have here. Interesting here. Uh, so I'm going to tell you and then you check the pronunciation and then you are going to practice. Only two people, only two uh, times. So it says Mark and Julian. My employees are not as motivated as I would like, although the company invested a lot in motivational development. Employees continue to lack enthusiasm. I know what you mean. You see, there are some things that could improve here at the company in regards to recognition programs. While rewarding employees with extra bonuses is all right, Rewarding them with longer pay vacations could improve their performance. I guess you are right. I believe we may need something more intrinsic. Even though motivating our employees through the Employees of the Month Award worked for a couple of months, motivating through peer-to-peer -peer stories of success may have a more meaningful impact. Hmm. Although peer-to-peer -peer recognition sounds like a good plan, implementing it along the mission and goals of the company would be a great improvement. I would like to see employees being rewarded on the basis of teamwork and innovation goals. Do you have any pronunciation questions? Teacher, the the all all throw, although, excuse me, although, 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 although. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other transitions? The recognition program. Recognition. Recognition. Mm -hmm. okay. I sometimes disappear. Yeah. Okay, any other pronunciation question? In the last paragraph, uh, say greater. A greater. A greater. Okay. Good, good. Any other pronunciation questions? Teacher. Yes. Could you repeat bonuses or I don't know how to pronounce? Uh, let me check what is the word. Hold on. It's on the second and the third part is right. Yes. Bouncing is all right. Uh on the on in mark on the second one, right? On the third part. Oh Julian, Julian, Julian. 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 Let me just check the word at uh, bonuses. Yeah. Bonuses. bonuses. Yes, that's right. Thank you, DJ. You're welcome. Any other pronunciation questions?
Okay, so we are going to practice. Okay, two people are practice as usual. And remember that after we practice, we're going to check vocabulary. Teacher. Yes. To lack enthusiasms. And uh, yeah, lack of, well, it says lack enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Okay. Enthusiasm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let's practice. We're going to start with Nelson and Sulma. Let's see how it goes. My employees are not as motivated as I would like. Also, the company invested a lot of emotive national development. Employees continue to lack enthusiasm. I know what you mean. You see, there are some things that could improve here at the company in regards to recognize, recognition, recognition, recognition. Program, recognition programs. While regarding employees with extra bonuses is all right, regarding them with longer paid vacations could improve their performance. I guess you are right. I believe we may need something more intrinsic, even though motivating our employee through the employee of the month award work for a couple of months, motivating through peer-to-peer -peer stories or something may have a more Meaningful impact. Mm, although peer to peer recognition sounds like a good plan, implementing implementing along the mis the mission and goals of the company will be a greater greater improvement. Greater, greater improvement. I would like to see employees being reward, rewarded on the basis of teamwork and innovation goals. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now we're going to listen Vanessa and Herman, is it possible for you? Yes, sir. Perfect, Vanessa and Herman, let's listen. Okay. My employees are not as motivated as I would like. Although the company invested a lot in motivational development, employees continue to lack enthusiasm. I know what you mean. You see, there are some things that could improve here and the company in regards to record recognition programs while rewarding employees with extra bonuses is all right. Rewarding them with longer paid vacation could improve their performance. I guess you're right. I believe we may need something more intrinsic, even though motivating our employees through the employee of the month award worked for a couple of months, motivating through peer-to-peer -peer stories of, of success may have a more meaningful impact. Mm, although peer-to-peer -peer recon recognition sounds like a good plan, implementing, implementing it along the mission and goals of the company would be a greater Improvement. improvement. I would like to see employees being rewarded on this basis of teamwork and innovation goals. All right, very good. Thank you. Now we're going to listen to Carla, Lorena, and uh, uh, Jamie Raquel. My employees are not as motivated as I would like, although the company invested a lot in, in motivation.
professional development. Employees continue to learn enthusiasm. I know what you mean. You see, there are some things that could improve here at the company in reward to recognition program while rewarding employees with extra bonuses is all is all right rewarding rewarding with longer pay vacation could improve their performance performance i guess you are right i believe we may need something more even though motivating our employees through through the employees of the month and while working for a couple of months, motivating through peer to peer stories of success may have a more meaningful impact. Mm. All the peer-to-peer -peer recognition so like a good plan, implementing it along the mission and goals of the company will be a great improvement. I would like to see employees being rewarded on the basis of teamwork and innovation goals. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Now we're going to listen to Daniel Archimedes and uh, Ivan Petrovic. Okay. Uh, Daniel Archimedes. My employees. I'm sorry, let me see if uh, Daniel is ready. Are you ready, Daniel Archimedes? Sorry, is I sit on the street. I can't read. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. Uh, all right, Hector, could you please help Petrovich? Okay, Ivan, you can start. Okay. My employees are not as motivated as I would like. Although the company invested a lot in a motivated development, employees continue to lack enthusiasm. Hello, Hector. We can do it. Okay. Uh, is it possible for you to read? I have a, I have a problem here. Wait. Okay. Don't worry. Take your time. Okay. Um. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I know. Second, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, sorry. Um. I know what you mean. You see, there are there are some things that could improve here at the company in regards to recognition programs while rewarding employees with extra bonuses is all right. Rewarding them with longer paid vacation could improve their performance. Okay, I guess you are right. I believe we may need something more intrinsic, even though motivated or employees through the employee of the month are working for a COPA. What is pronounced? COPA? COPA. Excuse? COPA. Co. COPA. COPA. Of months motivated through pair to pair history of success may have a more meaningful impact. Mm. Mm. Altero peer-to-peer recognition sound like a good plan, implementing it along the mission and goal of the company will be a great improvement. I would like to see employees be being rewarded 
on the basis of teamwork and innovation goal. Yeah. All right, very good. Thank you very much. So now it's going to be, let's see, possible. Nelson Antonio Rodas. Possible for you? Okay. Are you ready already? I was ready, but if you write. Okay, no, if, if you read, that is fine. No, don't, that's fine. I'm sorry. Let me see okay. who else. Samantha. Kenya uh, Cecilia, is it possible for you? Hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, let me just check. Erica says that she's driving, so it's possible. As being your driving as well, right? That you okay, uh, Samantha and uh, Vanessa, could you please help Samantha? Okay. Good. Who's the star? Uh, Vanessa can start. Okay. My employees are not as motivated as I would like. Although the company invested a lot in motivational development, employees continue to lack enthusiasm. I know what you mean. You see, there are some things that could improve here at the company in regards to recognition, recognition, recognition. programs. Recognition, right, programs. Why rewarding employees with extra bonuses is all right. Rewarding them with longer paid vacations could improve their performance. I guess you're right. I believe we may need something more intrinsic. Even though motivating our employees to the Employee of the Month Award worked for a couple of months, motivating through peer-to-peer -peer stories of success may have a more meaningful impact. Mm. Although pair to pair recognition sounds like a good plan, implementing it along the mission and goals of the company would be a greater imp improvement. I would like to see employees being rewarded of the basis of rewarded. teamwork. Rewarded on the basis of teamwork and innovation goals. Perfect. Very good. Thank you very much. So let's check some things uh, re regarding uh, pronunciation. Motivated, right? Although uh, invested enthusiasm. While See what else. Uh, 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 even though through worked couple peer to peer. What else was? Greater rewarded, and so now that we're going to check the vocabulary. Um, okay, do you know what is other? It's something like anke, anke, yeah, sounded like. Very good. Uh, luck. What is luck? When something is missing. Very good. When something is missing, when you don't have or you don't have enough of something. Okay. Uh, enthusiasm. What is that? Is motivation very good? It's like when you are very cheerful, right? Very nice. Mm -hmm. Let's see. 
What is okay when we say in regards to what is that? In regards to no idea, teacher. Okay. When you say something like this in this context, in regards to is like related to about to when you're saying something and this related to this other topic, something like that. What is while? In Spanish, it is. It is. Okay, yes, very good. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. We check what is in terms of that. So, uh, let's check. Okay, peer to peer. What is peer to peer? Hmm. Maybe a uh, two 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 person is is the same. Characteristics, something like that. Actually, yeah, it's going to be like co-workers, right? Co-workers all together, or uh, when you say uh, from people to people, one by one. So something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is, is the expression peer to peer is a uh, you said it a um, uh, noise in the co-workers. Or... Yeah. It's, it's like the connection. With right? skills or no, yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, peer to peer is, I mean, it's very common, you know, it's very common to to listen that that word or that concept uh, in technology. I don't know if you have heard that one. So for example, they said that the connection is peer to peer. So one by one, everybody is connected. One single Fisher. person to, uh -huh. go ahead. It's until like say, for example, in in, in probably list, uh, there are some concepts like say help, help for help is like when you count person, each one. Yeah, each one, one by one. Okay. One to each other. Very perfect. Okay, couple. There is an easy one. What is couple? Is the joint two, two things, two people. Very good. It's like a pair, two people, All right? Very nice. Let's see what else we have here. Um, a greater. What is greater? I don't remember it's superlative or no, I don't know, but they of grade it. When uh, you use a comparative. Very good. Yeah, actually. Means... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you remember about the adjectives, though. When you have one syllable or sometimes two syllable adjectives, you will have the comparative with ER at the end, greater, smaller. And things like that one. But when it's three uh, syllables or more, we are going to use more, more important, more beautiful. So that is it. So, and greater is like a comparative of great. That would be it. I don't see any other questions. Do you have any questions here? Okay, so we are going to do the exercise three. It says, check the characteristics that belong to an engaged employee. Discuss your choices with two classmates. Actually, we're going to discuss together, okay? So I'm going to give you a few moments and, and you are going to, well, you need to check which one are uh, 
for engage audience, but try to see what is the concept, all the things. Okay? You can use the dictionary uh, to check about little things to understand what is what is saying. For example, it says, remember that this is going to be together. The employee feels dissatisfied or the employee enjoys and believes in or so. Uh, check all the new words and check all the concepts and then we're going to review today, okay? I will give you a few minutes. ¿Qué pasó, mi gente? ¿Cómo estamos aquí? Mire, en la... Sign. Look at the signs today. Oh my God.
Okay, my friends. So uh, let's check. Uh, it says the employee feels dissatisfied with his work. So is this uh, is that characteristic for an engaged employee? What do you think? No. It's not right. What is to be dissatisfied? Anybody? A lack of satisfaction. Very good. Nice usage of the language and vocabulary, the word garbage. Lack of satisfaction. You don't have enough satisfaction. Okay, the next one, number two, says enjoys and believes in his or her work. Is that engaged? Yes. Very good. What is to enjoy? Anybody remembers? Okay, I believe that you know. Right? Enjoy is uh, when you really are happy doing something. Something like that. Okay, number three says, fully commits to their role in the company. So, is that for engaged uh, employees? What do you think? Yes, yes. sure. Good. And, well, I believe that you know what is Fully commit, well, I don't know if somebody's fully commit, but some people are very committed. Number four says, feels valued by the employer. Is that engaged? Yes. Of course, right? Yeah, when you feel that your boss or the company really value you, that you are important for the company, you feel engaged. Number five, exerts a little effort to contribute to the business. Exert, that is the first question. What is exert? When you make something and put your effort to do it. Exactly. When you do your best with something. So, and uh, it says exert a little effort to contribute to the business. Is that for engaged employee? Yes. No. No, yeah. No. Actually, he said no. Yeah, because they don't do that much. It's a little thing, right? So, like the meme, I don't know if you have heard or you have seen that meme that says, if you pay me the minimal wage, I will do the minimal effort. So, sometimes that's not. Number six says, uh, the employee takes pride in their organization. What do you think? Is that for engagement, please? Yes. yes. Definitely. Right. So if they uh, are proud, definitely they uh, are very happy of the company. They are saying, oh, I'm part of this amazing company. I don't know, many other things, right? Good. Do you have any questions before we continue? Okay, so we're going to watch the video that is just there that we need to see here. This is the video, but we're going to watch it uh, here. Okay, as you saw with the videos, please check and then uh, comment. Tell me what you understood about it, okay? Here we go. About innovation, excitement, years of... When we think about Google, we think about innovation, excitement, years ago, even disruption. But now, given the size of Google, one would think it's a mega conglomerate. So one of the reasons one would split, you split Alphabet and Google, was it to keep that drive, that entrepreneurial spirit? 
Yeah, well, part of it is if you if you look at the tech industry, there's a history of companies getting big really quickly and then they plateau or they struggle. It's it's hard to sustain that innovation and growth when you get big, and we've got 60,000 employees now. So we very much realize we may not have it all right. We may want to try different things. And so the alphabet structure is all about giving all these different entrepreneurs, ranging from Sundar Pichai, who's running Google, to Tony Fidel, who's running Nest, the chance to kind of build their own thing within this bigger company and with the resources we can give them to be successful. What is so special about this startup environment that makes employees, that makes leaders so excited? I think part of it is you as an individual really feel like you're having an impact. I mean, it's, it's amazing. On the Google side, right, you change a line of code, a billion people experience it every day, right? But at the same time, if you're Tony at Nest, you change something and you have hundreds of thousands, millions of people feeling things differently in their house every day. So that chance to sort of change something and impact the world right away the next day is enormous. When you say feeling things, it takes me to all the people data you have at Google, just a few years ago, your average person at a company didn't even want to fill out a 360 review. Many people in industries never even got reviewed. Uh -huh. You have gone such a different direction. What does gathering all of this data and information about the way your employees feel, and I would say some old school people would say like, feel, who cares, just do your job. Why does it make Google a better company? Why is it more effective? Well, this might sound funny coming from Google, but feelings are everything. Right? I mean, the whole point is you want people to feel happy and motivated and committed. There's all this data that suggests that when people are enjoying what they do and when they feel it's meaningful, they're more productive, they stay longer, and they have more impact. And those are all good things for the company eventually, but it's kind of also the right thing to do. So all this data and surveying is harnessed with the purpose of first, how do you make people happier, and then goodness comes from that. Okay, but what do we learn from it? When I think about Marissa Meyer and Yahoo, they gave their employees the opportunity to work from home, which in theory would make them very very happy. She walked through her floors and said, where is this? Where is everyone? This looks like a graveyard. And she pulled them back to work saying they were unproductive. So where is the balance between getting your job done and making people feel good? Well, generally, people will do the right thing if you give them the freedom to. And you tell them, you give them some hint of where you're going. So we have a goal setting process at Google where every quarter, everyone in the company sets goals. And they're transparent and visible to everybody else. So if you're kind of out in left field doing something crazy that doesn't matter to anybody else, yeah, your manager may let you know, but you'll also see it. And your peers, more importantly, will see it. And they'll go, hey, Laszlo, what, what you're doing is kind of crazy and out there and doesn't matter. Can you come work with the rest of us? And the problem at the 90% level fixes itself. So when you collect data, for example, how many women with, within Google put themselves up for promotion? Mm -hmm. Why is that so valuable to know who's doing that? How about just go for some stretch assignments and give some high performers a big job? Why do you need data? Well, the, the reason is because we, we don't make great decisions as human beings. We think we do. We think we're rational. We think we're objective. But there's all these things going on in our brain that make us make suboptimal bad decisions. So for example, we saw women were getting promoted on an engineering organization at a much higher rate than men. And there's no reason that should be the case, right? Women are just as smart, just as capable, have just as much impact. And when we dug into it, what we found was that the men nominate themselves for promotion. Because at Google, you do that. You just raise your hand and say, I'm ready. The men do it way before they're ready. And the women wait too long until they're more than ready. So we then went and just told everyone in the company, look, men are nominating more often, but women are more successful when they're nominated. Women, please nominate yourselves. And the problem completely went away. Women raised their hands earlier and more. And we would never have known that unless we'd looked at the underlying data about what the behavior of men versus women were. But what's the advice? The advice is every company should collect that kind of data or every employee should step up more. Because let's be honest, think about the kind of resources Google has versus your average company. Well, I think there's a few things. One is absolutely step up more. But it's also not fair to put the onus on the people who are feeling uncomfortable, right? In, in our case, it was women feeling uncomfortable to raise their hand and say, please promote me. It's not fair to say, women, you have to behave differently. What is required is for the company and for the men to also behave differently and create that opportunity. So as a company, every company can track who's, who's getting promoted and what rate. It's not super hard math. So they should be doing that. And when they see differences, they should be fixing it because there's no difference in talent. But you're known to believe that managers should actually have less power. Yes. If a more powerful manager had the wherewithal to note great employees under their uh, business unit, then this would solve itself. But you're saying do the opposite. Yeah, because the managers actually, managers aren't that helpful. It's important to have a manager. Sometimes you're lucky enough to have a great one. Most of us over our careers just have kind of average managers, and we spend a lot of time managing them, trying to make sure they're happy with us, do what it takes to please them. 
when instead we should be doing what's right for our customers, for our users, and focusing on that. So by taking power away from managers, so for example, at Google, a manager can't pick who to hire, they can't make promotion decisions. By taking all that away, what's left is the manager is just there as a coach to help people, and then the infrastructure of the company, my team. Okay, but if that's the case, then we're putting the wrong people in management, because normally high performers, oftentimes those brutally focused on the bottom line, are put in management positions, and I would never call those people coaches. Well, I think a lot of times we do, and a lot of companies we do. This is one of the problems we're kind of grappling with, and, and we're trying to figure out how other companies do it as well. But the idea is that most people who are managing don't do a good job of it. Right. Or they don't do a perfect job, they don't do as good. And so by finding ways to sort of unlock the power of the team and give the team more freedom and take power away from the managers, you actually get better decisions. So what else have you learned through data? Well, let's see. Uh, another thing we worked on was we want, you know, back to this notion of happiness. We want people to be healthy. We, we give people, we feed people. We give people free food, free snacks. And we just figured, you know what, people are going to be happier and more productive if they're healthier. It'll save on the health insurance costs and so on as well. Has it saved on health insurance costs? Because just yesterday we learned Sprint is going to stop doing that. And it's going to save them 600 grand. Yeah, it actually, what we've seen is we, we did simple things. Like, for example, uh, where you go to get drinks at Google. We put water and sort of healthy beverages behind clear glass and unhealthy beverages, sugary drinks, behind opaque glass. People take more water than, than the unhealthy drinks. What we found is over the last couple of years, our health insurance costs actually, we sort of bent the curve on that. They're going up everywhere, ours are going up as well, but the rate at which they're increasing slowed dramatically and we think it's in part because of all these initiatives around health and these small nudges. Millennials, we hear so much about millennials want what they need. Two questions, are they these unbelievable performers that we need to satisfy? And what is it that's most important? And you cannot say social good, because I'm so tired of that answer. <laughs> um, okay, I'll, I'll skip the social good part. That, that, what we see is that when you talk to millennials, at least at Google, and when we go on campus and interview millennials, they say they want freedom, they want autonomy, they want impact, yeah, social good as well. They want all this stuff, right? Uh, but it's funny, when you go back and talk to people who've been in the workforce for 20 years or 40 years and you say, what do you want out of your job? They actually say the same things. It's just 20 years ago you couldn't ask for that stuff. So millennials are way more vocal, but they want the same things actually all of us want. And if you're 50 years old or 60 years old and in the workforce, what we see is people at that age also want freedom, autonomy, the ability to have an impact. And so we try to engineer the company to give that to everybody. And that, by the way, attracts millennials. Can mature companies change their ethos to start satisfying employees with not just compensation, with not just big management jobs? One might say it's easier for Google to do it. You're trying, you know, the you're the first of your kind. Well, what's kind of cool is there's been companies, we, we actually weren't the first. You know, there's a lot of companies that have been doing this without the science and data, but just because they kind of had a good instinct. Like who? Uh, there's a company called Wegmans, Northeast Grocery Chain. Know it. Family owned chain. 1% uh, profit margins, most of their employees are high school graduates, not masters and PhD students like ours. And they've always given their employees freedom. Their, their COO, Jack DePeters, told me this great story about this bakery worker who had a customer call. A customer basically said, got a wedding tomorrow, cake got screwed up, can somebody help me, do you have anything? So this bakery worker shuts down the bakery completely, bakes a cake, delivers it three or four hours away from the store, completely shuts down, store loses a day of revenue from the bakery. Guy comes back to the bakery and his manager says that was the right thing to do. If you were to give advice to an employee in how do you get more out of your job, how do you perform better, what would it be? The biggest thing you can do is sort of focus on what's the right thing for the end user. Whether it's your customer, whether it's users like we have, just focus on doing the right thing for them and everything else will work out. But hold on, what's the right thing? The right thing for them, listen, if I'm somebody who shops at Neiman Marcus, the right thing is sell me things at 70% off. But that's not the right thing for, for the store. Well, here's what I'd say. I would say take a small risk that place things in favor of your customers. So for example, we have this online sales organization. What they do is basically, if you're a small, medium business, you're trying to figure out how to advertise on Google, they help you. And so we have people on our team who all day are answering the same question again and again from you know, a family-owned boot manufacturer or what have you. And one of these people once, when helping a customer, kind of said, you know, is there anything else I can do? And the customer literally said, but I'm really hungry, I'd love a pizza. And so they ordered a pizza for the guy and expensed it. And it was 20 bucks, and it was kind of a crazy, weird, kind of dumb thing to do. Customer loved it, and the manager kind of looked at it and said, okay, well, if it was the right thing to do. So for 20 bucks, we won the lifetime loyalty of this customer, because this employee said, yeah, I'll order you a pizza. Sure, 
All right, here's my takeaway. Do things that are so crazy, they just might work. Lazo, thank you so much, thank you so much for, for joining me. me. Lazo Bach, Google's SVP of People Operations. Okay, what did you understand on the video? It was kind of fast, right, speaking. Any comments or opinions of the video? I understand the sure that um, Google tries to 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 increase the productivity with the motivation of the personnel and try the leaders to the team feel feel happier in this world. In this way, the if the employees are happier, the clients is is gonna be happier too. Very good. So definitely something like that. Like, uh, it's going to be like there are strategies uh, for you to motivate. Uh, you know, Google is a big, big uh, company. And uh, for example, if you have seen videos about Google, uh, there in the company is very informal. They have places for you to sleep, for you to play things. So it's kind of that way, right? It's kind of um, the philosophy is, is different, right? Good. Any other comments or opinion on the video? Like you say, teacher, Google is a big, big, uh, big company. They uh, they can use different strategic for for make happy the 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 work uh, the employees, uh, but in a small company like uh like my my little company is very difficult. But the idea is uh, of offer offers to different offer? offers uh, different strategic strategic for make uh, happy the the worker. The, the 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 employees is very simple like uh, uh take a rest no no take a nap is is take a rest uh um i don't know uh how say in in, in uh, time over time over <laughs> uh for maybe uh 50, 50 minutes and you can change the um, the work and you can do and I don't know maybe see you you said you, you your cell phone or play a little little game with, with this with the cell phone the strategic the the the, the guys uh, talk and the video is very very nice but because it's very very big the the, the company is Google million million on the uh, times bigger than my mm, another company but the idea is is search the best option for for make happy the employees because the employees happy is more uh work work uh best i think teacher okay very good, very interesting. And yes, uh, I know that it's different from companies. Also here in El Salvador is kind of difficult. I mean, I remember that uh, we were speaking a uh, like this uh, in another group in English. And uh, for the pandemic, you know, most of the people, they were working from home. But then when the, here in El Salvador, when something like that happens, sometimes people, they don't work, right? They sleep they do other things and the companies they realize that people are not doing what they have to do so they say okay you are not going to work anymore from home you have to come to the office because if you are not here 
in front of us, you don't work. So uh, sometimes, yeah, but some companies they want or they would like to implement this kind of philosophy or this kind of incentives, motivations. Sometimes it's very difficult. I mean, people uh, sometimes they don't do what they have to do. So that makes it difficult. But in other countries, I mean, if you achieve your goal, if you do what you have to do, I mean, why? Why am I going to say to you, do not take a nap, or do not play video games for 30 minutes or, or anything like that? So sometimes that, that happens. Sometimes it's kind of difficult. Good, so let's move on. And this is unit four, management and motivation. How to use subordinate clauses with adverbs of concession. All right, so uh, Fatima, could you please help me reading the chart? Use adverbs like all thought, even thought, and while to express concession. A clause of concession express an idea that, su that suggests the opposite of the main part of the sentence. While external factors play an important role in employee engage engagement. 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 There is proof that intrinsic factors are of utmost importance. Although we provide commemorative gift and freebies, the workers at the seat keep complaining, site, site keep complaining they want, to, they want to have the day off. Even thought the morale was down because of the economic crisis in the company. Employees keep engaged and commit to their work. Very good, perfect, thank you. So, uh, well, we're going to use the adverbs like although, even though, and while to express concession. Okay, and a clause of concession expresses an idea that suggests the opposite of the main part of the sentence. So this is like when you use but. So when you say I like ice cream, but I don't like um, chocolate ice cream, for example. I don't know. So these three words, although, even though, in the while, is going to be like that. So you are going to contrast two ideas are not the same kind of ideas, are different kind of ideas. So it says, while external factors play an important role in employee engagement, there is proof that intrinsic factors are of utmost importance. So as you can see there, there is a comma, right? The comma is because this is a clause. There are two ideas. The first one says, this is something, and the second one is, uh, but this is different, okay? Um, and the same happens on the other two examples. Although we provided commemorative gifts and freebies to workers at the site, kept complaining they wanted to have the day off. <laughs> yeah, that happens. So that happens, I mean, it's, it's going to be contrasting. So we did this, but the workers still not happy. I, I don't know. It's like saying, but even though the morale was down because of the economic crisis in the company, employees kept engaged and committed to their work. So again, right? Even though it's like, but it's like, mm, what happens this, but then what happens another thing, okay? Uh, and let's check some vocabulary here. Uh, it must. Do you know what is that must? No. I'm sorry? Not the chair, Okay, it must is like something very, very relevant. Something that is relevant. 
Okay. Very good. Let me see if there's another. What is proof? Proof. When you show something that acknowledge something. Okay. Yeah, it's like when you uh when somebody don't believe in you and you say, I have the proof, right? This is a proof that I actually did what I was saying. So that is like proof. And uh, let's see, freebies. Do you know what is freebies? Okay, that is like presents, like gifts. It's a synonym. It says at the site. Uh, you know what is site? It's like a place. Yeah, inside the place, in the workplace, right? Because as I was telling you, sometimes there are people, there are companies that they have people on site uh, and people working from home. So those are opposite, okay? Complaining, do you remember what is to complain? When you don't uh, don't be agree with something or when you do a, uh, what do you want? <laughs> All right, something like that one, right? You don't like something and you express those feelings. When you say, this is not good, you need to change anything like that, okay? Uh, what is day off? It's a uh, day of relax. <laughs> exactly, like Saturdays and Sunday is the most common, right? Not the only ones, but yeah. those are the most common. Day off, very good. And we know what is now. Mm, that is it. Do you have any questions here? Do you understand the usage of the three words and the clause of concession? Sure. And although and even though it's the is the same me it's the same meaning. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can use those like the same. Yeah. But you use in different contexts or in the same. No, it's in the same time. Yeah. No. Any other question? Okay, if we don't have questions, we're going to do the exercise that is here below the chart. I will give you a few minutes for you to check if you see a new uh, word of vocabulary, you can always use dictionary to look for that, okay? So please finish that one and we're going to check in a few minutes.
Okay, so let's check who wants to say what number one is already there, right? Although we are a small company, we sell almost a hundred cars a month. So you can see that it's like contrast, like it's like different ideas in the same uh, sentence. Number two, who wants to share number two? Even two, even two, they were one against doing so. The supervisors went ahead with the project. Very good, even though they were warned. Uh, do you know what is warned? Anybody? When someone give you like a notice or information about about something that you you will be with attention. Very good. So that is it. So warning. It's like giving a warning, right? You just say, "Be careful on this. Watch out." That will be and against. What is against? It's similar to that. Yeah, similar to verses. Something the opposite of anything. Else. And then it says, went ahead. What is to go ahead? Did, did the project something exactly. that did? Perfect. It's like continue. They continue. It doesn't matter. The time. You can go ahead. Nice. Number three, who wants to share Teacher, number three? Uh -huh. I think, or I don't know, but I think it even thought is like more a economic crisis in the business or no? No, you can use it in different kind of topics. Mm. But while uh, say is more intrinsic. Uh, uh, well, no, as you can see there, you can use, uh, although even though and while to express concessions. So, and these are examples. This is like, uh, this are, uh, is, is just an, an example. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Very good, perfect. Uh, who wants to check or who wants to express number three? Even though he not experienced in the file, he became a successful businessman. Very good. Even though he lacked experience on the field, he became a successful businessman. Mm -hmm. Very, very good, nice. I don't see any word, any new word here. Who wants to share number four? Maybe so. Go ahead, please, Nelson. Also, he has been working here for six months. He never thinks to know what to do. Okay. Although he has been working here for six months, he never seems to know what to do. I know somebody like that. Yeah. She was working in the company for, I guess, five years. I don't know why she's still there. Anyways, uh, that happens sometimes, right? Uh, who wants to share number five? Although there were many difficulties, the project started on time and was a success. 
very good. Although there were many difficulties, the project started on time and was a success. Perfect. Very good. And uh, number six. Teacher, teacher. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have a question. Uh, what is the what is the difference in the other? Um, even down, uh, is the uh, meaning is uh, meaning in the sense uh, a pesar de. Yeah, o aunque. O aunque. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I I I am confused. Uh, what is, what is the use of the the. the is the same use. Yeah, it's the same. You can use one or the other in the same way. Okay, and 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 the and the and the number five uh could be cool cool could you set a uh other? Yeah, you can use although there were many difficulties, or you can say uh even though there were many difficulties. Or while depends. While maybe is the one that is going to is the same. While you can use it in the same way, but depends on the structure of the, of the sentence, right? But although and even though is going to be, I mean, you can use one or the other. One. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, somebody was saying number six, right? Number six, anybody? While Why did you... mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead, Hector. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will try. Uh, while the company is one of the rich, richest in the world, it offers the world's employee recognition system. Very good, perfect. So that is it. Do you see that is... This is very easy. I don't think it's very difficult, but we need to use it. Maybe that is one of the problems that sometimes what we use is but, and that's it, right? But we can use other words that are similar. Like for example, lack, lack of enthusiasm is something different than say, you don't have enthusiasm. You are not that enthusiastic. So there are different words that we can start using and we enrich our vocabulary. So that is an important. All right, any questions before we continue? Okay, so we're going to do number six. It says identify the employee recognition programs for uh, from your company and think on how effective they are. And you are going to create a little presentation. I mean, you are going to say to the class, we're going to go and discuss in groups and you're going to say to the class, uh, how is the recognition plan? Of course, we are going to use the grammar. We're going to use although, even though, and uh, while, okay? Try to use that when you are expressing these ideas. Uh, but you are going to sp uh, discuss about the recognition plans in your company. And then you are going to tell to the class, uh, using the grammar, how they are express or uh, describe how are the recognition programs in your company and if they are effective. Do you have any questions about the activity? I'm going to send you that into the chat. So again, you can, you can look at that and check it through. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to create a breakout room. Ah, it's it. Let's see how it goes. All right, here we go.
Teacher. Hello. I I could not join. Mm, really? Let me uh, send you to edit. See where you are. Ah, uh, he's. I'm going to send you. Let me see. Let's do the number one. Here we go.
Maria. Here they are. Hello, teacher. Yes, you have questions about the Yes, I, I have a question. Uh, we need your help. And number six uh, is the exercise. Yes. But uh, for example, Uh, yes, what you need to do is to speak about your companies where you work and speak about the recognition programs and think you're going to say if it's effective or if it's not effective. And you can say also how you can change that. Okay. Perfect. Do you have any other questions? But, teacher, but in my, in my company, there are no programs. Okay, you, so you don't you don't have bonus, you don't have vacations or anything like that. Anything like that. Okay, if you don't have anything, what you can do is you can then write what would you like to have. Okay. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, everybody, let's check. Let's check what you did. On the first group, we had, I, I know that not everybody was young. We have here David Alexander, Herman, Carl, Lorena, and Nelson Antonio. So let's listen to that. Hello. Hello. Oh, okay, I listen. Okay, in my case, um, the problem uh, is a uh, we can we don't have vacation, no fifteen days uh, for year, because uh, we always working in that days but you don't have any vacation no but no. they they pay vacation mm, okay yes but it's it's bad for us yeah okay and the other Carla. In my case, teacher, the problem is that in the company, uh, we can take the 15 days in a row. We have to take two, three days, but it's not the same because we can enjoy the vacation. Okay, yeah, you are right. It's not that good, right? So um, it's better if you have 15 days in a row. Nice. Okay. Uh, very good. Thank you. The next group we had uh, Osvin, Erica, Fatima, and Hector, I guess. And so now. Uh, teacher and our group uh, uh, take different way from the exercise because we this the talk about the strategic for for make better the the, the work on the company mm -hmm. and we 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 talk about the a few strategic like uh, uh if you if you um your objective uh, goal are complete may you can get um a bonus extra bonus with this with this strategic you can make uh, the people work work better if you don't have if the company is 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 tiny is 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 uh it's tiny you can use different strategic like uh, uh work uh, from your home with this strategic you can reduce the cost uh, you cannot use the car for go to the office, and maybe you can make the the work. Another strategic is a uh, like uh, take a uh, if you can uh, if you get good um, good uh, result, uh, maybe get a uh, one day free. We did this good, uh, talk about this strategic teacher. Okay, interesting, very good. So it seems that they're very good to take for us to motivate employees, right? And let's see, the rest was, I guess, Ivan Petrovich and Vanessa. I don't know if you had anything. Okay, um, and and in the case the class the classmate Jamie, mm -hmm. she say uh they received uh a bonus of fifty dollar for a sheet, uh per uh five uh, five five years uh, the work. And the other uh, extra bonus uh received my my classmate is a bonus extra extra bonus the one hundred dollar. 
for a ship at 10 years in the work. Mm, okay. That is interesting. Very good. So yeah, they are yeah, yeah interesting. Good. Yeah. Yeah, because there are many companies that they don't have this kind of uh, incentives, right? So uh, vacations, the Christmas bonus, and that's it, right? So, uh, but if you have an extra bonus, if, I mean, if they give you a day off, yeah, those things are very good. And also in the environment, at work sometimes, when you uh, work in certain companies, they have... Uh, different rooms for you to to play video games or to I don't know I for example I remember that there was a company that they had like uh, a house in the, at the beach so wow. yeah if you want to, if you want to go to the beach sometime you can just say to the manager you know I will go to the beach okay go to the house and and that's it but you don't have to pay anything so those little things are are interesting yeah <laughs> ah so sometimes it's possible uh, any other comments or opinions for this all right so we're going to check the attendance and then let's go to bed because it's late already just thursday friday and monday we finish Please remember to move on with the platform. We need to finish this weekend. And remember that the survey from Insafor is something that we do together. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Daniel Antonio Luna. Daniel Arquimedes Florentino Garcia. Present. Good. Erika Yasmin Martinez Carpio. Fatima Denise Aguilar Martínez. Good. Herman Alexander Durán Linares. Present. Good. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present, present teacher. Good. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Good. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Good. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. José Alberto Baños Hernández. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Good. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. Present. Good. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Nelson Antonio Arroda Rosales. Present. Good. Oswin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present. Good. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamengo. Present. Good. Zulma Janet Ramírez Ábalos. Present. Good. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Demos. Good. And David Alexander Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Perfect. All right, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in three minutes. Teacher. Okay. I'm here. I have a problem with my internet. Okay, no worries. I will catch you. Okay. Goodbye. Good night. Okay. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hello, do you have any questions or anything?